Hello there, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Nikon. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can shoot bulb in Control My Nikon. Newer Nikon bodies, such as the D800 here, allow you to shoot bulb tethered. However, older bodies, such as a D7000, do not permit tethered bulb mode. I'm not too sure why the firmware has that limitation, but it just does not work. For those older bodies that do not support bulb mode, you will need to use an external trigger such as a DSUSB. Control My Nikon can interface with it and then send triggering commands to another cable to the body. This is very popular with astrophotographers as they hook up to their telescopes with their body. So let's connect to a D800 and see how this works. So to set it in bulb mode, I need to go to the shutter speed and select bulb. Now all Nikon bodies, even the older ones, have bulb here. So I'm just going to click on bulb. And now that we have bulb, I'll go up to workflows and go to long exposure. You'll notice when I selected bulb, the shoot button became disabled. That is because when you want to initiate the capture of an image in bulb mode, you must go to the long exposure tab and enter the duration here. And let's make it 10 seconds and then click on capture. So the progress bar counts off 10 seconds. Let's see what we have. Usually you'll find a error like this of 100 or 200 milliseconds on a bulb shot. If you wanted a precise 10 seconds, you can go back here and select a 10 second exposure. It won't do it through bulb mode, but it will be correct. But as you go to longer exposures, this error here is not really going to be relevant because 100 milliseconds over a one minute shot is going to make an extremely small difference in the completed exposure. Now as you look here in the long exposure tab, you see there's a lot more things you can do here and we'll have a separate video on how to do long exposures and that will step you through all these steps to calculate how long your exposure should be given the f-stop that you have and also capturing dark frames for noise removal. We'll also have another tutorial on using the DSUSB. And when you're done, you just return your shutter speed back to normal. You notice when you do that, you go to long exposure, and this is now disabled. These are only enabled when you have bulb mode selected. And that's it. That's how you do bulb shooting in Control My Icon. Happy tethering.